Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So as usual, let's go over the market and see what happened. Now, I didn't upload a video yesterday because YouTube was bugging out. It wasn't letting me actually switch to this, the Tesla account, uh, this account that I upload on. It wasn't letting me switch to it at all. Um, I don't know, YouTube was being weird yesterday, so I couldn't actually upload yesterday's video, even though I did record it. Nonetheless, let's go over today's video or uh, today's, uh, you know, price action and whatnot and see what we can expect going to tomorrow and next week. Now, the title of the video I know says like, oh, you know, Tesla looks bullish or whatever. Uh, and I do expect overall a bullish trend. However, that being said, I actually expect some red first. Let me explain. So this is what I'm seeing. By the way, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's just get right into it. So what I'm seeing is this. Currently, you can see we are currently, uh, currently you see we are currently in this channel right here going upwards, right? So essentially this channel uh, starts to fall apart once Tesla breaks below like 1020-ish. Like once Tesla gets like, you know, nicely below 1020, like 1018, like somewhere around there, uh, this channel pretty much gets broken, especially if it holds and doesn't like, it, it can go under for like a few seconds or like, you know, whatever. But if it doesn't like recoup it really fast, that means that this like channel that we're in going upwards is there's a very high chance that it is officially done. And now we're gonna slowly trend downwards. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing though, because personally, what I'm wouldn't be surprised to see because we are actually, okay, so number one, we did fill this gap. This is, this is the first gap that's filled, right? This 1025 or so gap completely filled. And you can see the serious rejection happening at 1025. You can see it's just not being like led past this gap, which is very common. A lot of the times, you know, the stocks like to bounce off of gaps, right? Whether it's up or down, doesn't matter. In this case, we went up to fill the gap. Now we bounce down. Ultimately though, ultimately, I actually do think we're gonna go up here to fill this gap at like 1060, just not tomorrow, not like within the next day or two. I do think though running into earnings, which I think is on Wednesday, so maybe on Tuesday or something like that. Ultimately, I actually do think we're gonna be probably next week filling this gap. But first, I personally think what's gonna happen is we're gonna fall out of this trend right here that we're in. We'll drop down to probably to like a thousand ish, give or take, close to a thousand. I actually sold puts for 995. So essentially if we end tomorrow, under 995, I'm going to buy shares, but that's fine because ultimately I personally expect a run up uh, after a quick little pullback. Again, ideally, I want to see about a thousand tomorrow hold, give or take, right? I don't want to ideally end below a thousand tomorrow or for the week. Again, don't forget Friday's off. And then I think off of that, we're going to bounce and then probably run into earnings and probably also fill this gap. Maybe if we're lucky, even go all the way up here to fill this gap close to 1100. Wouldn't be too surprising either. But ultimately, that's what I'm seeing. Like I, I, I think that that might happen. I do think that, you know, we're going to get a small retrace here. Overall, the, it's not looking bad. Like on the one hour, looking decent. Like, you know, it's the MACD is looking kind of bullish. We're starting to make higher highs on the MACD here. The RSI looks perfectly fine. Just following the, the chart at the moment, which is good. It's not showing any weird, you know, scenarios, not really showing any weird situations. All in all, I think we're overall going to be in an uptrend, even though I do think there's gonna be some red first, uh, which again, as long as we don't fall too far below like a thousand, honestly, as long as we don't fall below, like, mm, let me see like 990, I would say, I'm, I'm feeling pretty decent about it. Um, so that's essentially what I'm seeing. I do expect a little bit of a red and then I expect a bounce off of that and a run up into earnings. And I think that could be pretty interesting. Uh, I also ended up selling calls for 10.30 for tomorrow. I sold them way too early. So I'm a little bit sad about that. I missed out on a lot of extra premium I could have gotten, but I also bought one call for 10.50 for tomorrow. But that one's just a hedge. That one, I consider to be insurance. Like if that, if that goes, like cut, gets cut in half, that's fine because that's insurance just in case we meet upwards tomorrow and then my calls that I sold get like completely destroyed. So that's kind of an insurance. So that's essentially what it is. Like I'm willing to let that almost go to zero for the sole purpose of insurance purposes. That's essentially what I'm seeing, guys. Overall, I actually think uh, Tesla's looking pretty decent here. I do expect a nice little run up. But the issue with this, guys, is keep in mind, I do think overall, though, this is going to be... Even though I do think it's short-term looking bullish and I expect a run up potentially to 1100... Ultimately, I still believe that this is not going to be um, a run, to, run up to all new highs. I think this is going to be a quick run up. But either way, that's what I'm seeing, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Peace.